Hi, welcome to Schulte Sweeties YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls, ages 11, eight, and five. This is our sixth year homeschooling, but I'm gonna be sharing today um, what our math picks are for our seventh year of homeschooling next year for 2023-24. And um, this is a collaboration with Devin at Calm in the Chaos and Shauna at Homegrown Homeschool. So um, we will start with my youngest. She is in kindergarten this year and we are actually going to do a repeat of kindergarten. Um, she was a young kindergartner and um, the reason why I know with homeschooling, it doesn't really matter, um, but we put her, we started, um, we are in a charter group, homeschool group for our state. We decided to really put her in this year because um, they do offer services like speech and um, that was one thing that she did need. Um, but we don't want her to progress in the program at a, like such a young age when, when really she, we probably wouldn't have started her that early. So, um, we are holding her back, but really it's fine. Um, but she'll be repeating kindergarten. We have started math with confidence this semester with her. Um, previously we were using the good and the beautiful level K, the simply K. Um, we've switched to this, um, because I wanted to switch away from that program. Um, I will share that in another video, but, um, it's still a good program, but we just wanted to switch. So we have Math with Confidence. I have a feeling she will finish this early and not take a full school year since she's already started it this year. I haven't decided yet if we will stick with Math with Confidence or move her on to the program that I'm switching my older student to, my middle student. So my middle student is going to be in third grade and, um, I had originally planned to switch her to math with confidence as well, but level three doesn't come out till the spring or summer. And I worried, um, she is pretty math minded and I worried that we would always be waiting on the next level for her. Um, I know that they have like addition facts that stick, which we are using or subtraction facts and then multiplication and division facts that stick that you can get extra. And we're gonna be using those, but I'm like, I don't want to hold her back if I, like, if she needs to move forward and she's ready to, then I don't want to keep her from doing that. And um, she has high hopes to be a veterinarian in the future. So, like, I know that math is going to be important um, for her college degree. So, um, I have decided she wanted hands-on to switch her to... Apologia level three. Apologia was great and sent me this level and I'm excited for her to use it. We were using, we went through the sample of level two um, just the other day and she was just loving the sample games that we went through and I'm excited because they um, have a lot of hands-on, like they have a lot of games and then they also have a lot of like projects where like it's relating to um, real life and they have uh, word problems and all sorts of things. So I am going to wait <laughs> until, um, to see what we think of Apologia level three, which I think we're going to love it, um, to decide whether or not we will continue with math with confidence or switch over to Apologia. Apologia, so they have level, um, one through five out. They're going to be doing level six and level K, I believe, but thankfully, we will be in that schedule. So um, I don't, we don't have to wait on the next level to be coming out. Um, my youngest, if we switched to Apologia for her, she would just switch to level one. And um, so we would always um, be good on that schedule. Then for my soon to be seventh grader, we have switched her from the good and the beautiful math this year and she has started alex math um, we got it kind of discounted for, through our charter and i have a video kind of explaining alex math it's not a very like known um math curriculum but um they have k through 12. i think that it is available through public school but also through homeschool you can get like a subscription with it and um we were able to get it with our charter pretty cheap um 
So she is liking that and we're using that still. And then um, Unlock Math was able to give me uh, a subscription this year to kind of try it out and see if that was something that we liked as well. So currently, <laughs> um, since she started Alex Math, I think in February and then Unlock Math, I think in March. So we have both of those and we are gonna continue those because we have both of them. Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Um, we have about a year subscription for Unlock Math. I think it was seven months for Alex Math and see if we're still liking those, but we're going to probably evaluate next school year. So um, right now, if, I don't know what we're doing, um, but I want it to kind of nail down before she starts pre-algebra in eighth grade, but we're just kind of doing all the things to make sure she's ready for pre-algebra in eighth grade. So that is what our plans are for math for 2023-2024. I'm excited to use some new programs and kind of um, move on from there. So I hope that you check out Shauna at Homegrown Homeschool, Davine at Common the Chaos Homeschool, and then also check out the playlist down below.